that nigga from the projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. Ran down niggas from your projects. Slam that niggas from your projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. Ran down niggas from your projects. Slam that niggas from your projects. I be fucking dancing in my projects. I be fucking fighting in my projects. Niggas will try for in my projects. Get drunk, break, let up in my projects. Always wipe up in my projects. I'ma hit this, she got a dip up on my projects. I be fucking hoes in my projects. I be letting go in my projects. You done told in my projects. Most of soul in my projects. Used to watch T's, they was five X. Now I push P's, that new five X. Blow trees, I ain't high yet. Move keys, no confinement. Rock shoes, never high shit. You be a fool if you try this. I'm just that nigga from the projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. Ran down niggas from your projects. Slam that niggas from your projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. Ran down niggas from your projects. Call me dirty, but do you filthy? A nigga guilty. You don't like me, and they don't like me. Y'all shoulda killed me. Couldn't drill me, you pussy nigga. The murder built me. I been moving milli. I leave you rocky for getting silly. Swear I'm cocking them niggas out when you know the dilly. Got them hopping until I pop and you know I'm milli. You see stopping is not an option. I'm going shopping. I ain't talking topping. I'm smoking niggas like they your feelings. Thought a nigga did I? Hollows let them flizz I. 30 or the 40 fits I. Couldn't diss I. Nigga, I know where you get fried and where you get side. I said that I would chill, but I lied and I don't get tired. I'm still that nigga from your projects Where them pies kept The D's lurk and mom's wet Color flag reps get ripped next I'm paid depth Get that high tech Then hard dick on hard steps It's dirty Yo, I want it all baby Bro, I, like, dice, I like gold man Roll the dice man mm, That cash looking green Roll the dice mm. bro Roll the dice That shit on the floor though Roll the dice I trust bro. it in your hand man Roll the dice man I want the cards too I want, I want food stamps man I'm going for the food Roll I'm the going dice, for the food my nigga. Got him Right Snake Ah I'm just that nigga from the projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. Ran down niggas from your projects. Slam that niggas from your projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. I'm just that nigga from the projects. Ran down niggas from your projects. Slam that niggas from your projects. Oh. Yo, my nigga, this nigga took me for a lot of my money, my nigga. I ain't gonna front. You mean like, nigga? You gotta do what you gotta do, nigga. Do what you gotta do, you feel me? Oh, nah, fuck that. Nah, I'm gonna get that nigga, bro. Do what you gotta do, nigga. You already know. Easy. Yo, I'm out of here, bro. What's up, world? Welcome, welcome, everybody out there in the internet world, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're tuning in. No Facebook live stream right now. We're just rocking with the Chop Shop Radio live stream on the YouTube. Check us out. Double P's on the Chop, the Chop Shop Radio backslash YouTube. That's how we're live streaming right now into our website, www.uzd.world. It's back up and running. I am your host. Now, I'll be reality, as you can see, I'm by myself right now. Mm. When I got Cash in the building, he's over here. As you can see, he's a light. But I'm by myself, but I have somebody else with me. Well, what's going on? Cashing them up back there, man. You know, time back. Usually, when you got a darker skinned person, you're by yourself. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, new, that's a new wave going on around America, you know what I'm saying? What are you trying to say? They said it was three fifths? Darky, or darkies, uh, darkies take a seat. You know what I'm saying? They said it was three fifths of a man, was it? Three fifths of a man. How do you feel about that? Who said that? Why do you say you're going to beat him up? Everybody that said it was dead. I don't, I, I don't know who, who, grave? who said that. I, I just a bunch of old white men in front of the country said I know, that. I just, I they said it lacks the three fifths of a man. This is more than half. It's like, that's bullshit, but anyway, because yeah, I thought somebody said it recently, and I was ready to get on somebody's head, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, so what, if it, what if it was Sajo downstairs? Shout out to Sajo's Sajo. pizza. What if it was Sajo? I mean, you're going to go they'll, out? They'll, they'll, they'll be having a Sajo pizza. There'd be a pizza with Sajo toppings on it. If you need it. a pizza, point your pizza. Sajo's, what has it been? Not, Don't mind me. I'm just, pizza. I'm just tagging a couple people. I'm doing what y'all do to me, and y'all be all y'all y'all be out there tagging. Man. Some of y'all don't even rock with me like that. This ain't a, a shot at my people, but some of y'all don't even rock with me like that. 
but y'all be tagging me. I have like, yo, know, uh, Cash, I gotta show you really like I'm lying. I got like 900 uh, un, un uh, sanctioned things that I haven't sent. That you me. haven't uh, approved of with some taggings? Yeah, not all of them are necessarily ones that I don't approve of, but some of yeah. them just. You just get a tight look at the motherfuckers. You be like, go down, I'm like, you know what, man, fuck this shit. I be doing that shit. My girl got me one time for that. She was like, yeah, you know, you, you don't be uh, accepting some of the stuff that, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, tell me y'all had a social media argument. Not necessarily. I, guess what I had was, a social media argument with my girl the other day for the first time. <laughs> well, what happened was, I guess, uh, I think she ended up seeing something that somebody tagged me in, mm -hmm. but I never approved of it. So like, she was like, oh, why'd you approve that? But I'm like, I tried to show her. All other shit I didn't approve, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a, oh, you a, have, you a, have, a laundry have, list of shit I didn't Yeah, you, you had to show her? I had to get, I get, I get sick of looking at the shit. It's like, all the shit you get tagged in and like approve this, approve that. I'd be looking, I'd look at two or three of them shits, I'm like, you know what, fuck all them motherfuckers. I'm saying you had, you had to show what time it was? Yeah, I had to show, like, listen, I, it's not that I just didn't fucking accept that particular post. It's a, a laundry list of posts I didn't fucking, you know, approve of to be for me to be tagged in, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, so once you see, you know, there's a whole bunch of other shit on there. She kind of like, you know, eased up a little bit. I think that happened when I was dealing with the collective and I think some people were feeling like we don't necessarily share all their stuff. You know, we won't do fine because that's in-house stuff, but I had to show it was like three, it was like, matter of fact, let me go right now. I'm gonna sh I think, I think, man, like. see the number right now, just so you can see, so start making it up. I'll let, I'll let you see the number, so you can see. I believe you, that man, shit. Look at that, what's that say? What's that say? Uh, nine hundred and eighty-three yeah. pending posts. That's almost like the girl's uh, inbox and shit. She's inbox and we have all unread messages and shit. Yeah, what's up with girl? Yo, what's up with women, right? With um, there's like a certain girl. I can put a name. She I keep her on my newsfeed amongst other people for entertainment purposes. She's always like on the newsfeed, like, oh yeah, I just need my thing, this and that, and sex and this and that. And then like, the next week would be like, why are these thirsty dudes in my inbox? First of all. You know what you're asking for. I'm not saying that, you know, but cause I always feel like I gotta do the disclaimer because women are always like, oh, what are you saying? Women can't. No, I'm just saying that, you know, certain types of energy you put out is gonna attract certain energy. And people die for it. So I, I was talking, I, I had a random conversation with a stranger today, which is interesting because I don't normally have random conversations with strangers. That's a lie. That, no, that, that, let me finish. That, are like mentally stimulating like in uh -oh. a way that like you meet somebody that you don't know you're yeah. not trying to be friends with but you're on like a similar kind of page you know yeah so i met this gentleman today you know and uh he, he wouldn't be the traditional what you would think is intellectual he had braids and a do-rag on and stuff like that like i know better but a lot of people you know so we're talking uh and we just got into a conversation about a sweater or something or something we're talking about because they have a dope punisher sweater i've never seen before and so you know i'm a, I'm a model, big model fan we're talking about something so so we were talking about um, people being like caught up in social media and how like and how bad social media gets with people. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about uh, you know um, you know Instagram sometimes can be the what the, what the FX and uh, which is interesting because it's social media. But I learned things from it. Right? Some things I bring to the show. And it said I forgot what exactly it said, but it said to the effect of that. Paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. But it was real, yeah years ago people would write diaries and get mad if somebody read it. Now people write that same stuff online and get mad if people don't. Think about that. That's very true. That's like not profound, but it's pretty deep. It's very true though, it's, kind of, it's, it's true. I mean, I mean, I think a lot of it comes from, it's like being an attention whore. You know what I'm saying? Like an indirect, uh, an indirect attention whore, you know what I'm saying? So they're like trying to put it out there, but trying to not act like they don't, want the attention, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So was you like, when you, when you said like, uh, uh, damn, I forgot, you said something before about, ah, um, oh, fuck, what was, was the analogy you used when you first started talking? I, I forgot what the fuck oh, you said. Uh, about, about like people like putting their stuff online. Oh, or, oh, oh uh, 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 about the uh, diary. No, it was something else, I, I forgot how, how you said it, but anyway, it's like people, want to put that shit out there like they try to act like they don't want their business out they look for confirmation mm -hmm. and attention a lot of times you know what i'm saying like how you say like somebody will check you like yo i put she put stuff oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah 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 uh, like, oh, oh, oh yeah like a girl will put like oh a girl will put like oh i just need some some good d or sex right. and then she'll be like oh why all these bad shit dudes is in my inbox you know, they'll be sitting at home and then they, they, they're trying to spark a conversation where they're the 
they, right, they, 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 they are the, uh, the the center of attention. Yep. So that so like when you, when when a person when, when a person puts uh, post like that like yo I need some this and this and that I need some good day what's gonna happen? An influx of dudes gonna come into your fucking uh, inbox. They're gonna be on your your, your 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 thread, your comments. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be all over yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, what do you what? Do you- so 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 then when that happens, it's like why you do this and this? And then what happens when you do that? Yeah, but the thing a bunch is- of other motherfuckers gonna come up. Girl, you don't need them. They ain't they need it. You would do like me. Da, 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 da. And it just brings a whole bunch of attention. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. You know, you know what I hate. You know what I hate. I, I can't stand corny. Like I don't, I don't really like. Just the, send the fucking message already, bro. It's only us two here. So. I, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like the, um, I don't like the, um, the terminology to use. The terminology thirsty. Thirsty. I think it's overused. But, but no, but I, I'm saying I don't like like I don't use that in my vocabulary because I, I think it's something that's like I love you like it's overused. Like, well, uh, but I don't well, like I mean, to break down on it. I, I know what you're saying. But, comments, I, mean, I, I know what you're saying. But the only times I, I feel that it applies. I, I have some words like that. I have words like that that I just won't use because I feel like they are like like loyalty. Yeah. Like the word loyalty. Yeah, yeah. I don't like, like to use like, the word. Like, yeah. I don't like to use the word loyalty because people use that and they don't even like even understand what they mean by people aren't loyal or whatever. Exactly. So I don't normally use it. I, I don't normally use it. But the one time I will use it is when a girl will be like, "Yeah, you know, this dude, you know, my boyfriend, blah blah, blah ain't treating me right." And some dude that don't know the situation jumping like, "He don't need you, girl. You don't. You're, you're beautiful. You don't deserve yeah. that." I'm like, ah, this call, uh, bro. Like, yeah. like, you're a fucking call, yeah, yeah. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stay out of that. Mind yeah. your fucking business, dude. Like, you're a corn bag. I, I don't even think that's, I don't even think that's, like, really the definition of thirsty. Th- that, I don't think so like, either, but that's what comes to mind when I... Yeah, that, that's more like... That's what, that's what comes to mind when I think That's about. more like being, like, a fucking, a like... I don't even know the word for that to say, too. But it's not really thirsty. I think thirsty... Well, what, uh, thirsty what would you call that? That's, that's more like... I'm more like an opportunist in a way. I'm one of them dudes that's, like... I don't know, man. The niggas got no game. I was gonna say that. I mean, is that what you? Is that what you? They got no game. They got. They got no game. Like it's almost like praying in the week. It's almost like a, a, a animal sitting in the forest and waiting for somebody to come up. Like, like, like the a vulture on a caucus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, wait for the animal to come out the bushes, yeah. limping, and then you go jump on him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, cause that's that's all you got. Like right, you know what I mean? That's all you got, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't the fastest lion in the jungle. I'm kind of slow, so I'm waiting for the engine ones to come out. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the crippled one. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for the yeah, exactly. So that's almost like a, like a uh, opportunist or just like you know, it's one of those fucking sucker ass niggas. And then when they yeah. fall for that little that little pampering or whatever, and then they be like, oh, this nigga's a bitch. Of course, it's a bitch. Yeah. You made a bitch move to get you in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you made a bitch move to pull you in the first place. That was the first set sign. You know what? I, you know what I don't like about social media? I don't like when people. I don't like when people will be like when somebody be rocking with somebody for like 10, 15 years, and then like the minute they're not, they're be like, oh, this bitch has motherfucking this and that. But like, yo, if you knew all this about them, why was you rocking with them? And I'm not yeah. saying. Now I'm not saying that like you know we've had falling out with people that have been part of our family. But they weren't around for that long. Mm. How you rock with someone for ten years and all of a sudden they a bitch? Mm. I can't stand that nigga. How you not know in ten years? Yeah, you just you just didn't you know like, what I'm you, you like no more. He, he, he yeah. do something that you wanted him to do. It, exactly. How you how you not know how you not know in ten? How you how you be with so how you be around somebody ten years and and you just now? Man, but at the same at the same time, the flip flip side of that coin is like you got with friend for ten years and he might try to get with your girl. And then for that, he could be a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, but see, the thing about me is, like, me and you, we've been friends how long? 20 years? Yeah. All right, me and you, we have our differences, we have arguments on camera and off camera. But if tomorrow, me and you came to a point where we wasn't fucking with each other more, I'm gonna put hands on you, put hands on me. Out of respect of what we did have, mm-hmm. even, even if it came to a point where I was like, yo, I wanna put a bleed in this nigga cash. I will not go in the public and be like, this nigga kind of bad, this nigga No, no, there ain't no point in doing that. Like, what, what's the I'm point? I'm saying, you want to question the character of a person who does that, though. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Like, what, what's the point? Like, what are you I'm doing I'm not talking to anybody specific, but... Yeah, I'm just in general, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, like, any, like, any person that just go on social media. You know what? The only time I condone that that kind of action uh-huh. is, is when the person... 
lives their whole existence on social media. So you have to trust it. You know, can because I say can I say that only no guy? Nothing, nothing matters to that person but, besides what goes on social media. It's not real. Nothing's affecting them until it goes on social media. Then all of a sudden, they want to react. They want to feel some type of way. Sometimes you gotta get people away. You know. Twenty two times that I've ever done that. Ever in all my years of like dealing with social media and being the social media main person for our, our collective and everything, right? Fuck it, leave it up, right? Uh, no, but oh, you. Yeah. Why you looking at my? Don't look at me while you say that shit. Your love is a one in a million. Nah, how do you know? It's on and a, yo. <laughs> don't look at another man's eyes when you say that so good. If I look like this, I go. Your love. Why you look over there? Well, I thought you was looking at some other man. What are you looking at? I thought there was some other man over there. You trying to see if there's an attractive man over there to see what the fuck you singing? I thought you serenading the man that was uh, coming through. Would it have made a difference to you if it was an attractive or unattractive man? Nah, if you serenading him, I guess, shit. I mean, you So what if there wasn't another man sitting there? I would be like, oh, I guess not because he's attractive. I mean, it's just a... You just kept going like that happened? We that come out of here. You learn new something? It ain't even a song, it's just a beat. You learn something new every day, you know that? Oh, shit. So it's only two times that I've ever done that. One was indirectly and one was directly. Because I don't do subs. The, the, the time that I did indirectly is because motherfuckers live really far away from me. Like, if you live within driving distance, and that doesn't just mean in my state. That means, like, within, like, a day. Like, within, like, the, you know, a <laughs> 20 day. 25-hour span. Uh, yeah, 25-hour span. If I can drive to your state and I got a problem with you, like... If you, if you live a little bit further than uh, Mississippi, you know, yeah. I, I'll probably let it go, but, like, if you live, <laughs> like, I live on Rhode Island. If you live, if you live, in, if you live in the northern tip of uh, Florida, then, I live in Rhode Island. I live in Rhode Island. So if you if you live in New England or the tri-state area and I got a problem with you, I'm gonna drive to where you're at and I'm gonna see you. I'm not talking about some gangster shit. I just mean that I'm gonna come see you and we're gonna talk it out, have tea, whatever the fuck you wanna say, right? But like if you live like let's say way down south like Florida and you're some corny ass fucking, Southern Florida. fucking troll that's down there, Southern Florida area, you're some troll that's always running his mouth online. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put, I, you know, I might put something out there here and there just because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I ain't gonna call it on it. But that, I don't even try to play it to. The only time I've ever directly gone online and called somebody out, and I only did it one time, was because somebody had left left the the, uh, the fold of the family. Um, and there's been people that have left the family, multiple people, right? Not a large number, but there are people, multiple people that have left this family, and I've never went public, bashed them or said anything. But this one particular individual, who well, I won't even choose the bash now because I'm beyond it. The only reason why I went public with what I had to say was because this person chose to not follow the OG rules and was going around to everybody spreading poison and telling them lies about this movement of ours and this thing of ours, making it seem like they were like like an originator and when they were a new jack on the block and they was going around spreading all this and all this bullshit. You know, this was a couple years ago, uh, right before you had come uh, um, in cash. And I felt like I had a choice. Like I could either I had three choices: either sit back and allow this person to like throw dirt on this legacy that I built off of blood, sweat, and tears. I could go up to all the people that I knew and like grill them and put them in the middle of some shit that wasn't their fault. Be like, what did this person say to you? So I just put it out in the air. This is the truth. This is how this team was built. This is what time it is. And I and I and I, and I didn't enjoy doing it. Yeah, some time needs to be done. You know? But I felt the need to do it because. This person, but I'm not gonna say the names, but there's people that I'm close to that I know that live together and they'll be subbing each other on social media. Grown ass people in their thirties, they'll be subbing each other. What the? F what is wrong with people, yo? They, I mean, like, I guess. What's wrong with people, I yo? Guess, I mean, like, some people. They, I guess they feel like you don't have no outlet. That, that that's the only outlet they really have to do it. The vent, the vent. Yeah, but if you vent. no, listen, if you live with a person. Obviously, they, obviously they're not talking. But you know what? You know what? You know what I think it is sometimes. Like a lot of times, people want the argument to pop off on Facebook so that other people can join in and join sides. Yeah, but check it out. There's old school rules, and the old school rules is if you got a problem. These niggas old school, if you bro. Got, but if you got a problem with your, but if you know these motherfuckers is in their 30s. If you if you go if you go, I'm not talking about teenagers here. If, if, I'm not talking about our kids. I'm talking about people our peers. Okay. I'm not gonna say no names, but. What I'm saying is this, right? Check it. Here's what I'm trying to say. There's a, there's a rule of thumb that I didn't always follow when I was younger that I now follow. If I've got a serious problem in my relationship with my girlfriend or baby's mother or whatever, I don't go to my family and tell them the problems. 
because when you fix the problem, they're gonna hold that against your significant other. Exactly, other. exactly, because that's, that's the all that they know of the like, significant other. There's no happy moments, it's always a problem. Every time I hear about this person, it's a problem. You go to your mom's and be like, oh, she did this, she did that, she did this, yeah. and then next week, you only telling your mother really your side of the story when you right. tell what you did, because we all do that, right? It, it, it depends on the relationship between the, your mom, the, 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 my, my mom, your mom, whoever, yeah, the yeah. person's mom, and the relationship that they have, which is never the other. If they have a personal relationship, then it's like, all right, he told me this, but I can go back and talk to her and see what, what, what how she stands. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of times, that significant other don't have the relationship that that good relationship with the with the with the with the mom or, or yeah. the, the other person's parent, so they can't really they just get a one sided story. You know what I mean? No, I agree with that. But, but here's, here's, here's what I'm saying, like like um like. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Man. If you if you if you keep going to your parent or somebody else and, with and, bad and, with and, bad exactly. with bad news about the other person, exactly. obviously you don't think that person is bad for you because you don't ever come with them like, oh, guess what we did, we did this, yeah. this, and that. And, and, and the thing is. If you Go to fix that problem, and then they hold that against, and then there's always that that, that animosity. Yeah, that rift and stuff like but that. But that goes with everybody. It's almost like, all right, so it's like, say if me and you get into an argument, and then you know, people jump on <coughs> sides. People chose sides, <coughs> and all of a sudden we get cool, we get cool back together. Now we, now one of us got animosity towards the other person that did some, some, you know, jumped on sides or whatever like that. You know, what I mean? like, so, yeah, I'm getting over being sick. That's so you it's always good. Like for instance, like if you if me and me and my brother dudes got into an argument, you guys might as well stay out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually we're gonna patch it up, we're gonna be good. We brothers, we live we we know each other our whole fucking lives. You know what I mean? So when you jump into it, then all of a sudden you got bad blood with somebody else, and now me and my brother's cool again. But it also has to do with it also has to do with like you said, it has to do with the relationships to the people you talk to. Because yeah. because without betraying any confidence. Deuce has had private conversations with me. Yeah, of course, yeah. And that, 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 that was like what I said. Exactly. In, in relationship, in relationship to, to you and him. Yeah. That I would never repeat to you. Mm -hmm. Never. Even if I, even if I fell out with Deuce, I would never come to you and say, "Yo, catch one day me and Deuce had this conversation." Yeah. Because that's a private conversation between, between, yeah, between you. Yeah. But, but people like. That only gets brought up if he's in the room and we're all in the room together. And then we can talk about it. And even then, if he wanted to brought up, he would say it. He said it was on, yeah. Maybe sometimes you never bring it home. I'm just saying that that's comes yet. Needed to vent. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all vent. Yeah. I vent about you. You vent about me. We vent. That's family shit. Yeah. But 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 it's all about really. It's all about I guess. You know what? In in, in, in Islam, we say. Um, you know that I'm not an ultra religious person, but you also know a, a lot of my um, basis is off of yeah, yeah. Islamic. Theory. And they said if they said if they said if there's, there's more than two people in the conversation, especially if one's not there, they say the third person is the devil. You get what I'm trying to say? Meaning like, meaning like, if I'm talking to you about another person, bad about another person, and another person ain't there to defend themselves, then that, that's the really negativity. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really trying. I mean, so so the, the the who's the devil? The person that's not there, the absent. No, no, no. The, like, like meaning, like, like I'm, I'm trying to like translate it from Arabic. Like, yeah. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to like. Translate. Translate, translate, yeah. yeah, it makes more sense in Arabic than yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. But basically, like, like the other person is a, the, a lot. A lot of times, but the, the, the dark energy, you should say. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot. A lot of times, this, this, this primarily, this primarily um, pertains to Muslims mm -hmm. because Muslims are not allowed to back by each other. Meaning, like, uh, for instance, they can't, like, they can't, like, oh, this person did this. So talk, nah, like, 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 if, if me and you and this brother right here are Muslims, and I got something bad to say about this brother, then I'm supposed to make sure he's present. What are you talking about? To defend himself. Otherwise, the third person in the conversation is the devil because he's not here to defend himself, and that's not an incorrect situation. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say? The devil, though. Well, it means like the the the, the fucked upness of the, the evil energy that, of he, like, that, he, that he gives off. Well, like, the evil energy of, of of the person not being able to defend himself and us sitting there debating about a brother that can't defend himself, like a person that can't. So how how does that make him the devil though? Doesn't make the person the devil. It makes the the, the conversation the kind of, oh, tainted okay, because yeah. the person's not there right, to, right, to, right, to right, defend right, themselves. Right, totally, I mean, like, totally. all right, so, 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 so like, so like, so like, so like when um uh, me and you got a problem. I don't know. I'm saying what you have. So like um when uh, Quincy Jones was was in an interview and he was talking about how Richard Pryor and Michael Jackson was this and that. These guys are gone. They don't have a chance to defend themselves. They don't have a chance to defend themselves. So like me, it's like all right. 
me, like me. So that whole, that whole conversation has bad energy, period. You know what I'm saying? Well, because well, for instance, me and you talk behind the scenes about a lot of things. Yeah. So me and you talk as as the two leaders of the movement. Me and you talk behind I mean, for, for because we have to. Me and you talk behind the scenes about different characters and people in our in our movement. Mm. We have to to, to assist it. But if we were gonna go make a major decision about a person in the movement and not have them present. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Then yeah. the third person in that conversation would be the devil, meaning like that's not a righteous conversation because the person yeah. ain't there. Okay, yeah, you, get what what you get what I'm saying? So I it doesn't mean like they, 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 they're not necessarily putting it on that person. Not the person's devil. Yeah. The conversation is tainted yeah, because the person's, person's not there to the, yeah. the But that's if somebody you fuck with. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you don't fuck with somebody, they're not gonna be in the room. But, but yeah. like if you fuck with somebody, like this is family. This is and family. We, we can talk about the person if they're not around. But I'm we're saying, not gonna badger we, we can't tear put, down. Yeah, we can't put a whole bunch of energy into it without yeah. like we, this person has to be here to defend themselves. Right. Get your phone um situated. It's gonna be this right here. Look, that, it would be people. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting for pairing. You know, we all fucked up today. You know, so we it, sounds, it sounds kind of like British and, and kind of. My 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 uh, the one in my car. That's just sound British too. Pairing. Yeah. You know that the the they say the GPS in uh, um, uh, uh, Germany has to be a male voice because they won't follow a woman's voice. That's, that's crazy, man. Them niggas. Some type of sexist. Yeah, yeah. Nazi Germany thing. And that's the angle. That's probably why they all yeah. fucked up in the head, too. I think they were the one a little easier, man. You know what I mean? Like, what are, what are you going to do? Maybe, maybe the monkey's not good out there, you know what I mean? They ain't worth oh, listening. German, what do you mean? They know all the fucking the mask and the giant dildos and they get crazy over there. No, well, they gotta have all them fucking tricks and accessories that mean the monkey ain't that good. I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> das Boot. Das Ass. What is this? Das Boot and Das Ass. This is la fée que vous see. Oh, that's French. So we got, we got the... Oh, that was French accent. Yeah, we got my black people in this <laughs> So we're gonna have the homie proficient from uh, Queens, New York call in any minute. Rock with us for a minute. He's on hold right now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, what's good? What's going on, bro? Tell me, you gotta, you gotta link it in real quick. We got the homie proficient on the line, Queens, right, New York, yo, 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 in the yo, building. Yo, 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 well, not in the building, but on the phone, technically in the building. On the phone. This is my phone. We're about to go to the Bluetooth right here. What's that shit called? What's that shit called? It's a PB, PB, PBT 520. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what that is. PBT 521. Oh, that's the right one. Hold on, it's connected. It's a, it's PBT. Hold on, it's right there. It's, it's popping up. Got Hold on now, it's connected right now. It'll say it's pairing. So yeah, yeah. Usually, usually we go to a we video. Get, yeah, we usually we, get a video of the cash fucked video. up. I, I fucked up. We ain't got nobody else here. What are you talking about? No, nah, you can't get no more alcohol. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta press it so that just don't be able to pair it. Like, hold on, on, bro. It's on, bro. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how to do that. Nigga, that, how you pressing a button? That ain't even a button. Nigga, I know it ain't a button. Because I fucking just might do it as a fucking speaker. But there we go. Wow, that's super gay. Hey. That's not like a gay leprechaun jumped out of it. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good, man? We got on the phone right now. You gotta turn the volume up, bro. Negative volume up. Oh shit, hold up. Yo. You need your volume all the way up. Tap Why is this happening right now? Because it's the Chop Shop Radio. And this is what happens early fucking Thursday. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. We can hear him, but he can't hear us. Every Thursday. Hello? Yeah, hold on, give me one second, I'm trying to connect you to the, um, yeah, to the speaker right now. So I keep talking about it something while, while Cash gets that all of a sudden, let's talk about, so the Deadpool uh, 2 soundtrack features Little Pump, French Montana, and Celine Dion. I think it's interesting that a lot of Marvel movies have been right. in association right. with hip-hop a lot. I mean, like, look at the um, Black Panther soundtrack taken over by Kendrick Lamar, which is did you go see the, um, super dope. Did you go see the other movie? Which one? The Avengers. New Boys Avengers? No, not yet, because I got to take my daughter and it's like all the tickets are sold out. I got my daughter hooked on comics because it's something that we can bond on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just, I, I got caught up. I just took my kids to the Marvel Live thing. You were supposed to take your kids. Oh, it was really dope. We got them that late. No, yeah. no, Marvel Live was dope, man. They had like, they had these actors and they kind of had to be like really animated with their arms because like they were far away, but it was dope. They had like the background. If you, if, it, if Marvel Live comes to your city and you got kids, Go check it out because it was super, super, yeah. super, super dope. It really yeah. super dope. They had like Thor and Iron Man come down on the, the wires and Spider-Man was swinging around the crowd. I mean, it was real dope. They had the Guardians of the Galaxy. They had Black Panther. They had the Hulk. They just made on the Hulk. They didn't have Hawkeye and they didn't have, uh, who else? A couple of the Avengers, but most of the Black Widow was there, Captain America, Spider-Man. 
Mm-hmm. They had like motorcycles, fireworks going off. They had a giant screen that was on the floor and in the background to change all the different scenes. They put iron fisted to it. It was really, really, really dope. Yeah, my, my, they my girl, we go watch all that. We, we watch all them shits, but I don't remember the motherfuckers. It's not worth it. I don't think I'm going to pick some audio on nigga this phone. Hello? What's going on, bro? What's going on with you, man? Yeah, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, man, we, we, we in the house, you know what I'm saying? We got a little technical difficulties, but we here, you know what I'm talking about? We got, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah. All right. All right. So, so let, let us know who we talking to, man. Let us know who, well, where you at, what you doing, man, who you are, what you do. Let us know what um, you do. So you do hip hop music. Is that is that correct? You sound like a, you sound like a white guy. You do you do you do, 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 you, do you do that hip hopery? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I do hip hop. You know what I mean? So what, what is your what is your uh, what is your uh, if you don't mind us asking? What is your ethnic background? Uh, say that again. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So you're you're uh, South American. Yes, sir. That is in South America, yes. Yeah. And our statue might be here mixed from, you know, parents or, you know, different countries, you know, different backgrounds. Word. So, so you from Far Rock, Rockaway and, and Queens, in Queens, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... When I hear somebody say Far Rockaway, Queens, I always feel like you get, like, punched in your head real quick. Like, yeah. I'm a Far Rockaway, like, what uh, punch bro, in your head? Oh, bro, rock it, rock it, rock it, you're not. Yo, so, so, so being, like, uh... Can, can we say more multicultural? He's both from uh, like. You can say multicultural because even though they're both South American, uh, right. Guatemalan and Colombian culture are also oh, are also very right. different from right. the similarities. And would you grew up in? Did you was you born in uh, South America or was you born in uh, New York? I, I was born in New York. What? You can't hear his accent, son. I mean, son, some of those, some of those, whatever, man. He's from New York. He was born with a pair of Tim's eyes, son. <laughs> Yeah, it was with me, micro mini Tim's on. So, so you know, being he came, out, he came out with Tim's. One Tim had the Guatemalan flag, the other one had the Colombian flag. <laughs> so, so being more multicultural and, and like growing up in New York, like how did you get into hip hop? Like, uh, He was, a, he was into rap too? Word, for real, for real. And that's funny because I was watching an interview earlier, a last week interview, when they had um, uh, uh, Lord Jamal, and he was talking about how he told he, he put out a post and it was like, yo, hip hop, is, 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 it was made by black people, that's our thing, you know what I'm saying? People was coming at it like, yo, it's universal, and it's, and it's, every, it's for everybody, and it's probably for everybody. Like, what you think about that? I think that, you know, it's not going to be on race, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, like, it's like poetry, like, you can't put your life on your own, you know what I mean? Like, even if it's owned by certain race, you know, it's so yeah. diverse. Yeah, I have for you, yeah, I feel you on that, man. So, so like, what, what did you did you ever face like any like adversity being um, like your ethnicity and and coming into hip hop? like because I mean not not only not only um you know have Latinos had to establish their spot as far as the lyrical aspect of hip hop and it being a predominant looked at as a black culture you not coming from the traditional um how how do I say this the traditional uh uh hip hop Latino community as in People look at Latino rappers, they think of like Dominican and Puerto Rican rappers, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, 
not not that there not that there aren't dope ass MCs in Mexico, Guatemala, Colombia. I mean, we got a, we got a, we got an extended global family, uh, and one of our teams is the Killer Company in Medellin, Colombia. You know what I'm saying? So so we're very aware of the international hip hop scene, but I'm talking about the the, the general hip hop head. When they think of like, uh, you know, I don't like using this term for myself or anybody else, especially being a mixed ethnicity, but Latino rapper, majority of the Latino rappers that we know of, right, ex with, with exceptions of like Immortal Technique, like you look at Big Pond, Fat Joe, Dave East, uh, people like Fabulous, they're either Dominican or Puerto Rican. So not only do you represent the, the, the Latino aspect of hip hop, you come from uh, Latino uh, descendants that are not normally think thunk of. Thunk. Uh, I don't even know. What that's <laughs> 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 let's go with it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Do you get what I'm trying to say though? Yeah, definitely. It's not that Yeah, but that, but that's 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 the higher, that's the higher science of it that you and I understand as as people that are, are God on that level. But I'm talking, but I'm just talking about the average everyday person, and those are the people you're gonna deal with at a regular well, everyday I'm show. Look, I'm looking at parents. Now. Did your parents give you any like, um, like reps? Yeah. Did shit? your parents look at you like, oh, you're trying to be black, like by? Oh, so he, he set the tone. Your brother, so your brother kind of dealt with all the initial, he, he, the yeah, possible backlash. Have you um? What do you feel about the hip hop scenes? Have you have you been to Colombia or Guatemala? Um, I haven't been to Guatemala, but I did. I've been to Colombia like you know, like twice. Have you been to Colombia? Hip hop scenes popping up there. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's popping up everywhere. Yeah, it's definitely popping up everywhere. Like you know, like Guatemala, Guatemala, not so much, but 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 Colombia. Yeah. I, I haven't been to Colombia, but I keep my hands in what's going on over there. But I've been to Guatemala. And Guatemala, the hip-hop scene is not the right. Killer Company, right? Yeah, Killer Company. Yeah, yeah. Kill yeah. Kill yeah. yeah. So, oh, so, so keep your hands so what's, what's you got, uh, so what's you got going on now, man? What's going on in, 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 in your life now? It's all over 21. <laughs> what's going on in your life now, man? What you doing right now, music-wise, you know what I'm saying? Apocalyptic uh, cover that you have for that. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, bro. I like, yeah. I like, I like the vibe. You know what? Where, 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 where can people get that album? Where can they pick it up? Where can they buy it? At, at any record store in Columbia. What the fuck is <laughs> 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 it? You know what I like about Proficient? You know what I like about Proficient is that I, I realized about him, even though we don't know each other, we've never physically met. I, what I, why? 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 Because you, know, you know, we 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 give we give a lot of people chances, but we don't just interview just anybody, right? Um, uh, he's lying. Yeah, no, it's not true. It, it's not true. <laughs> like, like, if you're a dope MC with a good work ethic or a cute female willing to sleep with me, then we're in. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> half of that series. But my, my baby's mother don't watch these shows, so I can say whatever the fuck. <laughs> so, so what what I'm saying is, is that what I like about proficient, right? Is my girl watches it every day. A little, a little backstory. Yeah, your girl, he knows I must come back. So, what what, I, what I'm saying is, is that. Uh, is that uh, so? So the thing about proficient, right? Is that like we only know each other like digitally, right? But uh, he was hitting me up on Facebook, 
like letting me know about like shit he was doing, and I was hitting him up on Instagram separately. You know what I'm saying, I, yeah, because like you know, I just because I just be people different artists, and then I like I put it all together. Because like, you're, you're a social media whore. Yes, I'm a social media whore. Yes, thank hey, you. Give, any, give, it, give it to anybody. I won't give it to anybody, but, I, <laughs> but I'll talk to anybody on social media. I'll give you three seconds. You might not get more than that. But uh, so, anyways, uh, you might not get an invite to the show, but we'll at least do a little tango. So what I'm saying is, is like, Let me see my, I what, see I, res- what see I respect about this. his work ethic is that, like, like he was hitting me up on one, and I'm hitting him up on the other. I'm like, yo, this dude's working. So I checked out his work. He sent me a couple of joints, three tracks, which I checked out, which we dope. Um, and uh, I like, I like, I like the, um, I like the essence that you bring, and I, and I think that your style has a, a, a boom bap element to it. But I like cats like you that Modern. have. It's modernized. It don't sound outdated. Cause so, so many cats try to live in that '90s shit, but like we're past that already. Like we're in a different age. We're in a different time, and it's cool to have like those elements. But, but it's don't nice. be strictly yeah. That, yeah. It's nice to see cats like you that know how to like retain those elements, but don't sound like a fucking old dude rapping and shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? The cold still with my bro. We sipping up shit. Like, no. Don't push me. I'm close to the edge. Facebook <laughs> is the ledge. Like you, you can't even run that essay Facebook at the same time. Yeah, you can't guess it. I was on Facebook the other like like day and I seen some girl come yeah, around. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> so so proficient. So place to be. <laughs> so in my DMs look so fine. <laughs> so proficient, I got I got I got two two questions for you. So what is what is the 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 current in your opinion the current state? Two part question. First part. Two part question. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who killed Tupac? Why the black? Why the black Tupac? Tupac, Tupac you know what? Tupac no, you know what? How about this? How about this? How about this? I won't get mad about black people always bringing up Tupac. Don't get mad when I bring up Big Pun all the time. All right? Well, this is the first time y'all. This is the first time y'all never on the show. You only Puerto Rican here. This is true. <laughs> So now I got a Latino on the phone though. He's on the phone. He's, he's like, no, uh, he's like, he's like uh, ultra Latino. He's South American. Uh, Puerto Ricans, we're half American. Well, he's white. Wait, wait. You got so, anybody on record is so, getting, you got anybody on record is getting mad when you bring Big Pun up? Listen, that's a whole other conversation. But I got to come back. Listen, 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 listen. Y'all wouldn't interrupt because my man Paul Fish is Latino. You guys want to interrupt this interview, but I'm gonna move on. So, <laughs> yo, proficient. Race card. Yeah, proficient. Don't don't mind us. We all we have a love hate relationship going on over here. Yeah, we have, we'll be drinking too. We'll be drinking too. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we mix a little humor with knowledge. That's how it keeps it fresh. Yeah, right? too. That, that way, that way, it's not preachy. Um, what is the current state of the hip hop scene? Not no necessarily in New York City because I realize that each borough in New York is its own monster. Because yeah. I've spent a lot of time in New York, and and I've got a lot of ties to Brooklyn. Um, what is the current scene of the hip hop scene out in Queens right now? Like, what's going on out there? Like, are cats are, are cats like like being original? Are cats trying to be like on that designer sound? Like the South shit is a mixture. Like, what's going on right now? Like, give us give us the the, the pulse. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, I'm down here for a lot with a lot of rappers that are coming up, and you know, it's a different style. We got R&B singers, um, trap artists, artists that that want that original. But then you have the artists that try to sound like everybody else, like try to fit in and shit like that. And mm. artists that be like, you know, like, it's a lot of different people, you know what I'm saying? And there's little guys that's pretty dope with what they're doing and stuff like that too. Out here in Fall Rock and all, all over Queens, you know what I mean? Mm. People out there on the up and coming and stuff like that, you know? You don't really see them on you know, TV and shit like that, but they out there doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, so the other the other question I have for you, uh, the, the second part of the question is, uh, so you have you traveled a lot? I mean, like you said, you've been out in the country. Have you traveled? Like you done? I've seen you stay. You stay lit with the shows in New York. So you you seem like you've been around the country a lot too. Yeah, yeah. I traveled. Uh, I was in Syracuse for for a while. Then so I did my thing. You know, my man popped out there. Dude, we you know did shows and shit like that. Syracuse? Um, Upstate? In, in New York, you know what I mean? Manhattan, Queens, far out. You know, I have lot of, you know, get shows out there. Communities, back to events, venues, clubs, you know. Well, I'm, 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 specifically, I'm, I'm specifically trying to lead you in a certain direction. And, yeah. and, and that is, have you ever been to New Orleans before? New Orleans? No, I haven't. All right, but you know New Orleans. And, and you know about you Bourbon know Street, you know Street. you know you know about Mardi Gras and have you heard of Bourbon Street before? Bourbon, no. Bur- Bourbon, Bourbon Street. Oh, Bourbon Street. Bourbon, 
Bourbon like to drink. Like whiskey. Like whiskey. Bourbon? bourbon? Nah, nah, I never heard of bourbon. Alright, well, well, Bourbon Street it's is known for its bars. It's known for its bars. You know what I'm saying? So this this part of this this segment of the show we call Bourbon Street. You know what I'm saying? We need some buys, man. No, we ain't really call them buys. Yeah, we don't we don't pronounce the R's. No, no R's. This, this is the part of this, this is the part of the, this is the part of the show. We want you to bring us bourbon street. Where where you gonna drop some some some, some little content on us? Right. Alright, so what's up, Bourbon Street? This is the part of the show where you're gonna drop a sixteen on us. Right. I don't give it sixteen. I don't care if it's freestyle. It could be 16, 32, you know I mean? 75. It could be, it could be Spanglish. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, bro. Just, just give us some bars. Bring, bring the bourbon street. We're going to the bars. We, we ain't going to stop you, so do what you're going to do. Like, what are you going to jump in when you stop? All right, no doubt, man. All right. Yo, I'm live on Chop Shop Radio. And in my brain, I'm Start a road if you got a video, you send it to us, we'll still play it. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, brother. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. No doubt, man. We'll be we'll be we'll be in touch. No doubt, bro. Alright, peace. Peace, love, and hip hop. So somebody done fucked up. So we don't get a lot of videos today, so we gotta go into like conversation mode. Just on what's up, baby. What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Islamic beads over there? Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, I haven't let me say no joints. I haven't touched some joints in a long time, yo. 
doing beautiful things right there. Yeah. You got some Nabi, Nabi spats? I, I've been on Quran lately. Yeah. 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 Well, you know the the, the ninety. You know, like, they say they say they say that they say Allah has has ninety nine plus one names. Right. Ninety nine names are the attributes of Yahweh. Allah. But, 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 but these are really nice. These beef tanks. Oh, these are really nice. Plus a Oh yeah, those are really nice. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. any beef like this in a long time. Yeah. So they say that Allah has has a ninety nine plus one names. The ninety nine attributes yeah. are the names that we attribute ourselves after. But the plus one is so divine that we can't even speak it because it's, it's beyond our comprehension. Beyond. Okay. It allows it allows us to absorb Allah without making him so human that he's not Allah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those, are, those, are really, those are really I appreciate, I appreciate the love and the those, those are really, really nice beats, yo. You want you also? Yes. They're, they're, yes. they're straight from I'll, um Yes. I'll pay I'll pay for that. Those are really nice. They're straight from Sudan. Yeah, those are really nice. Those are really nice. Well, I handmade. Those are, I can tip them. Bro, they're, they're, I can, they're heavy. I haven't touched beads like that in a, in a long time with that much quality. Like straight up, man. That's what we were talking about. The, the, all, all this beers niggas like beads. Like first of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, those are Muslim beads. Those are Muslim beads, and, and, and when when you touch the different beads, you're supposed to recite the 99 names yep. of Allah. Allah in, in Islam has 99 plus one names. The 99 names are different attributes that we take on. Like my, my one guy. Like, no, like like. What one, one person? What what entity has 99 names? And well, no. we're making up because it's different attributes. Yes. Yes. But, but this plus one, the one is the one we don't know because it's beyond what our comprehension is. Like my attribute of the 99 names is disease, which is like water. Running your mouth? With, yes, running my mouth. So it's like disease, <laughs> but we're <whatever. laughs> Say yes, running my mouth. <laughs> so, I got, some, I got something I want to bring up. Kanye? Okay. No, no, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk, nah, talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. I know, but, but it's, the dumbest, the, album of the, year, it's so. the dumbest thing, though, because, like, we all know it's called an album. It's yeah. And we're going to jump on it, jump on the bullshit he says to get right. us all riled up. No, 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 we're not, no, we're not going to talk. No, we're not going to fucking talk about Kanye because I didn't put. No, we're not going to talk about Kanye. I, I, this I, I, I'm going to say this. You know what's funny? I'm going to say this. Look, look, we talk about it. I haven't talked right now. I haven't talked about this nigga. I haven't, you know, post. I haven't replied to not one. I want to tell you what's hilarious. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't reply to one Kanye post. I have not put up one Kanye post. I've just completely ignored this shit because it's so stupid. No, but do you want to know what's crazy about this? Do you know what's crazy about this? Do you know what's, yeah. cra you know what's crazy about this? People fell into no, it. No, no, here's the crazy shit about this. Money. No, 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 here's the crazy shit about this. I agreed with him that we wasn't going to talk about Kanye and his Trump thing and all of that. Yeah. But indirectly, sort of indirectly, the next thing I was going to read is about Kanye, but not about Kanye. Okay. Right? What do you mean? Do you mean, uh, you mean the comment that the accident was, uh, slave, slaves were slaves? No, 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 no. No, it's nothing to do. No, it's it's it, everything that in the media that people are talking about Kanye, this has nothing to do with it. But it's about Kanye, but it wasn't meant to be about Kanye. Mm -hmm. I, I, I brought this to the forefront. Because I feel like there's this whole conversation that people have about this whole culture vulture yeah. thing, right? And I'm not talking about Kanye, just being general right. and, and our culture being appropriated, right? right. And, and is that an oxymoron for me to say because I'm multicultural? I don't know, right? No, you can't say that because like Spanish people had a, a, was real instrumental in well, but I'm also, the development man, of... This guy just learned this two years ago. He didn't even know this before we did the challenge. I didn't necessarily did learn it. I, I, I didn't understand yeah, the right. magnitude you know, of, street, of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never seen the magnitude. Of no, you know how we were looked at. You know, you know how we were looked at. You know how we were looked at. Latinos were looked at as the dancers. The dancers. You know, they still the dancers. They got to be like the dancers. Well, that baby, they were down there. Right there, they were down there. Yo, Cash, Cash, please. Yeah. Cash has only seen me two or three times in twenty years of, of our friendship. See me go all the way in Poppy, and the other time was a couple weeks ago. Let's say I'm cardboard. I'm there, you know, they know that. Some go all the way Poppy. So, I'm not even so, so, so this, so this, is, so this is not, this, this is not about. This wasn't supposed to be directly about <laughs> Kanye, and and I didn't choose this because it was about Kanye. I chose it because I didn't know how I felt about it, and I wanted to bring it up to you guys. Let's spit it out, bro. Okay. I was trying to fucking get there. Christina Aguilera is dropping. Let me finish for coming. Christina Aguilera is dropping an R&B hip hop album where she's singing and rapping. She has lost her. Produced entirely. Timberland. 
entirely by Kanye West. Her first single, Accelerate, features two chains and tie dollar sign called Accelerate. Right. And the whole album, entire album, is overseen, produced, and beats Kanye West. Yeah, okay, now, I mean, what's wrong with that? Did I didn't like, say, oh, I didn't oh, say oh, that anything oh, was wrong with it. I said, let's talk about it. Okay, hold, well, hold on, hold on. Did he borrow like 20 million or something from Jay-Z to start a clothing line and do the albums? I doubt it. There was some no, money. There was no, some money. Some there, was, there was some money. There was some money. There was some money. I think it was five. There was some money different. I think it was five million. But I, I thought it was in the doubles. The doubles. Uh, I, think, I think Jay came out and said it was five. And that was for the advance for the um the life of Pablo. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Did you pay that? The cut. The yeah. Ah, uh, not entirely. Cause I don't. <laughs> he said I don't we know. Not, Hold on, Cash. We said we're not gonna talk about this interview, right? I mean, we can talk about it. I mean, fuck it. You know what I mean? We can say a half hour. The man, the, the man, the man was basically <laughs> describing that he was kind of broke. He's been yeah. saying that though. He's no. been saying before he said he was broke. He needed, he needed a, uh, you know. He's lying, bro. Any man was. No, I mean, I mean, I guess, oh, I guess, on. I mean, I guess, being broke is subjective, right? Hold on, hold on. Right. But I, being, I think we're going off base here for the whole hold conversation. Hold on. Hold on. Being broke, yeah, yeah. being broke is like a general. Niggas uh, is being broke is like a. <laughs> Being broke is subjective. Like That's what niggas is talking about Kanye. He's he's a, a, he's a, we talking about Christina Aguilera here. But his wife has a quarter billion dollars. So he Fuck his wife. Broke. We're talking about not, Christina yo, Aguilera. Dropping a hip hop album. All right, we're going to talk about that. All right, so go. What's, 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 that that can only hurt her. It can't help her. Her job is about To be clear, Christina Aguilera is not a white girl. She's of Latina descent. Right? No, no. She is. No. Is she? Let me, yes let me and no. This. Is she a, is she a half of Latina? Let it? me let me correct this shit. What? She's Argentinian. Yeah. Most Argentinians and white. are 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 European descent. Yeah. Uh, True is especially during the Holocaust and everything with all the Germans. But but Germans. but her heritage traces back to so other Argentina. other than Europe though. Argentina. That is a questionable area. I mean, I mean, well, we can. All, I mean, we can go into. Whoa, 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 so now it's because on the chop shop the cash is accepted and it is a thing and they go to Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're Americans, right? Dr. Boyer we're Americans, has, right? has, has, uh, has, has certified it. So now <laughs> it is a thing. Hold on, we're Americans, bro. We got white <laughs> Americans, you got some Asian Americans, right? Yeah. We got African Americans, oh, Puerto Americans, Rican, right? First of all, like Puerto Rican, people say Puerto Rican, you can take three Puerto Ricans and put them in a room and one to be more European, more Taino, or more uh, uh, African. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. So we're all mixed, so we're all mixed up. Yeah. So let's get, that, let's yeah. get back to the thing, okay? Let's, let's get back to the thing. All right, so, so boom, I'm going to use the bugs example. But Christina Aguilera's not a fucking rapper. It so why is Kanye a rapper? It doesn't matter. It doesn't why? matter. Why? It doesn't matter because she's on The Voice. She has a following. What the fuck yeah. does that have to do with? She has a fucking follow. People gonna listen to it. Yeah. People gonna buy it. They're gonna check it out. We don't know. But, but at the same time, like so, she but Kanye's already Kanye's already a millionaire. So should it be about money or should it be about protection? That's what he wants to do. Truly, that's what he wants to do. Maybe he believes in her. Believes in her rap. Like a lot, of, a lot of these musicians, these women, men that that look like cornballs, they can rap their ass off. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Like you watch, you watch. I see like, some corny looking motherfuckers. They can rap, rap their ass, 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 ass. You gotta think about this. Yeah. These people are fucking musicians as their profession. Yeah. They do this shit every day. They don't even know. Yeah. Their profession is music, and, and if you can fucking sing, and if you if you have a concept of beats, and right. you can probably rap. Yeah. To be clear, I'm not against or for. Like Shania Twain. Twain. I just didn't know how I, I felt about her. Boss. Well, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Show call. Cash, 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 cash. Make a point. Listen, What's that show call. What's the show call. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Nothing. Nothing. And these motherfuckers get to the people. Hey, hey, let's keep it real, though. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. The first time hip hop really got its grand stage was when fucking Blondie rapped and talked about Fat Five Freddy and all of that. No, no. Blondie had the first. 
Blondie Bl- Bl- had the first hip hop record on MTV. Yeah, she talking about Fat Five. No, that. Yeah, but she was rapping. She was rapping. I don't know what the bitch was rapping about. No, but that's that's known as the first Why rap song. Bitch? On MTV. <laughs> that's the first that rap really song. Rap. Was that really a rap though? Yes, basically. She but it was just because. But, but, but check it out. But check it out. Even though even though rappers delight and Blondie would not be considered real rap by diehard oh, purists. Rap. Not but but not by diehard purists because they stole those rhymes and they wasn't they didn't really write them. That's they, that, they, that's they was, they was they was corporatized. But what I'm saying is the diehard that's purists. That's bullshit. It's still rap. But no, I'm saying the diehard purists. Would we'll say that. Would say that. But the reality of the matter is a lot of these like. Things that we would consider faulty are things that led the stage for there to be a J. Cole or a Kendrick or a Wu Tang or all these other things. So, right? with that being said, if you go back and sit there and say, "Yeah, uh, uh, the 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 song hit hop, him, 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 what's the name of that fucking song again? Uh, Rappers Light. Rappers Light was stolen. Yeah. That set the precedent for every other month. But, that, but, that, but that's, song but that's what I was. But, that, but that's what I was basically, saying. Basically, hip hop. Basically, hip hop was built off of. We gonna say borrowing, but that's what I. But that's what I'm saying. Without, without Cash, isn't that right, music? Right, 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 right. No, no, no. It isn't. Hip hop, no, hip hop. Our music is the only music, music that was made off of oh. taking a piece from something else. That's all we had. That the, like the get down. There would be no hip hop beats. And taking the piece. Yeah, we took a piece. We didn't have hip hop beats. Hip-hop. We created it from a piece of something. Yeah, hip hop. Hip hop was was. All the other things was live instrumentation. Up until that point. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Look, that's an art form. That people jumped on that. All genres of music jumped on that after hip hop, like only because it got bigger than yeah. them on the thing. Everybody did that. That's how people are. It's because they tried. You and I know this, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? They can just for the fact that people was taking pieces of other tracks, looping them, and creating something new out of something that was already created. Yeah. The people that played instruments felt like it wasn't legit. Right. Genre of music because we were sampling off of other stuff that was already created. But I think the hip hop doesn't get its fair shake. And, and they, they, they're used to they, at that time they were used to making stuff out of nothing. So, so for example, like Homeboy from Kicks, Gene Simmons. You know what's Gene so funny? I was, just, said, I was just gonna fucking say that. Gene, Gene Simmons said, "Oh, hip hop is not really a music because they just they just sampled off of other stuff and then like built off of somebody else's made, so and, it's not original." And his, can I say something? Right, like this? This, 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 like. Coming down on uh, fucking uh, Michelle Vasco and his artwork, a lot of this shit was samples and everything that he painted over and everything like that. But it's about pr- it's about but check it but check it. Right? And it was beautiful, right? It is beautiful. It's worth a lot a lot more money right now since he's dead, right? Mm-hmm. But it's about right. perspective. It's perspective. But, but, it's a, but it's about perspective because check it out, yeah. D- real quick and then go. That's, that's what all art is. Gene Simmons, yeah, check it out. Gene Simmons, real quick and then go. Gene Simmons said. That he doesn't respect hip hop, and, and, and it's not. And I get, I get where he's coming from, right? Check it out, real quick. I get where he's coming well, from. The niggas suck. No, but hold up, hold up, hold up for a second, hold up for a second. Okay. He, he says, well, if you have a judge, he says, 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 People like the Run DMC and Public Enemy. No, no, no. That's not what it is. What it he, is. No, no. He's upset about people like Public Enemy and Run DMC getting into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because he yeah, says he's good. saying he's saying it's not real because they don't play instruments and they don't create from the ground up, right? right. But 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 this is the, this is the thing. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm not doing but, but but this is the but yeah. But hold up. Let, let yeah. me make my point. I think you know but about but, but but this is my thing, Gene. Gene Simmons, if you're watching, which you're probably not. Say Elvis Presley too. Probably <laughs> He's not. He's watching. Say, He's say, watching. Say the ghost of Elvis Presley yeah. too. So, so yeah. here's, 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 my, here's, my, here's my thing, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons comes from a, 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 a rich, at least semi-rich, right? Or upper class to rich, wor- uh, 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 Jewish, um, um, privileged community that you guys had the money to buy guitars and pay for guitar lessons and I'm not saying you to go through any struggles but you had all that. Yeah, but, but they don't have to innovate. Exactly. And right. these motherfuckers that are now in hip hop don't realize that hip hop was not right here, here and everywhere. Mm. The reason why hip hop was created was because motherfuckers wouldn't let us in their clubs. Because if you went in their clubs, you had to have a hundred dollar suit and you had to do the fucking electric boogie. Word up. Motherfuckers didn't want to buy, didn't want to buy hundred dollar suits, or they didn't have the money to buy these expensive clothes. And guess what? 
motherfuckers didn't want to go in the club and do the electric boogie. They want to do their own dance. Then they said, you can't come in the club if you can't sing. Some people couldn't sing, but they could recite like poetry, which goes back to Africa. So right. they did it. Some people couldn't even afford a club or this, so they attached Sedgwick, what is it, Sedgwick and Cedar. Cedar, they, Cedar. they attached the fucking cords and, the, and, and everything from the light posts to run the sound systems because we had nothing. That is the difference between rock and all these other forms of music yeah. and electronica well, you, and hip hop. We made something from nothing. Exactly. That's what we do. Nothing. That's what we do. It's almost like. It's almost like that, and that's and that's why, and that's why, I think that's why. I'm sorry. I would have went off more. Yeah, I know. I just, I was, I was, I was trying, I was trying to run. I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm on a roll today. I'm trying, I'm trying to run. I think, I think I'm that. I'm gonna take Judge Drake right now. I appreciate that. I think that. Toast, toast for that. I think that 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 what you said was a perfect example of why black people are. Um, red niggas. What did Paul Moody say? What did Paul Moody say? Right, wouldn't be a nigga, but that might wouldn't be a nigga. Fuck it, Paul Moody. He might be a little fruity, but I love you, Paul Moody. He's very, very fruity. I love Paul Moody. I don't care. He looks like a, he looks like he'd be a good trainee, but Paul, I love you. So, Paul, you know, uncle. So I think, yeah, or not, aunt, yeah, or not, auntie, uncle, auntie Tito, auntie Paul, auntie Tito. I think it's like, yeah, he's definitely gay. RuPaul, RuPaul, he's definitely gay. So say. You fuck when you say you think he, he get. Let, yeah, but let the stuff oh, come yeah. to you. He snitched on everybody, right? Hold on, hold on. Nah, 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 nah. That was that was the other guy. That was that was that was that was. He snitched on like. Nah, that was blue. That was blue eyes over there. No, no, he's from Moon Snitch too. No, no, no. But we'll get us on the stuff. Okay, all right, let's get this. So, so everybody was checking in the booty. That's a whole other subject, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you were talking about that. We're talking about black people being in the culture and when it comes to. Yeah, so so it's, it's almost like yeah. And I think that that that's where the kind of like the animosity towards black people and colored people come from. It's almost like no matter what we do to them, they gonna always make the best out of the situation that they're in. No matter what, they always gonna come through. Food, innovative music, music, art, like, anything. Yeah, we still anything. we gonna still come out of that shit. Like you, you can't take us, you can't take us down. Like no matter what you do, you can try your hardest to suppress us and take us down. But at the end of the day, you still right. gonna do what the fuck we gonna do, and you can't really fuck with us. And that kind of like and that, I think that really fucks people up. I think that's the really. I, I think I think it's the thing that like, these niggas are just uh, exactly. exactly. Stop. Yo, <laughs> exactly. Hey, how many? How many? Yo, how many us, yo. Had them all everywhere, all right? across the world, and everything. How many? Don't how many? How many slaves? How many slaves? <laughs> <many slaves? laughs> <laughs> Damn. What, 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 what do we have to do to stop these niggas from 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 doing it? You know what I mean? Like, what do we have to do? Check it out. What, what, how many slave masters? How many slave masters are turned out? Yeah. How many? Not, not, not folding. Not folding, and then just 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 keep going like it ain't nothing. Like I think black people are the most forgiving people in the world. Like we're the most forgiving. Like, all right, let me say this. That's, so part, I'm, I'm go, that's part of the resilience. I'm gonna go back to the right? Kanye thing. With, that's part of the resilience. For, for that, with that comment being said, I'm gonna go back to the Kanye thing. I think when, when 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 Kanye said that if black people were slaves for 400 years. That means it was a choice. So everybody went all crazy when he said that. What he really meant was, like, if you're gonna sit there, multiply, procreate, and sit there and still be a slave after 400 years, yeah. and as a group of people, niggas then get together and revolt and right. try to shut shit down like, like die, that. ride or die. Right. You right. wanted to be a push monkey. But, I mean, but, we did. I mean, I, that's, that, that's what Kanye is also. Yeah. Kanye is oh, also that's... talking from a privileged position because Kanye's parents were well off, and Kanye. Well, that's bullshit, though. I hate when niggas say that. I hate when niggas say that. I hate when niggas say that. I hate when like, like oh, if, you, if you bring up, like, like you bring up to Bernie Sanders to a person, yeah. like Bernie Sanders understands the people, yeah. and then people like, yo, Bernie Sanders who? The guy who lives in the suburbs in Calabasas. No, no, no. I'm not saying you never had to deal with that. No, no, no. What I'm not saying you never had to deal with that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that Kanye. Kanye is speaking from uh, Kanye is is at the end of the day he's still speaking from a privileged position and what what about the, the people that have had to struggle from the bottom feel betrayed by him? That's what he thinks though. That's his perception. I don't fault the hold on hold on now. That's his view no, on it. I don't fault the hold on. 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 Hold
say has ever struggled with anything no, in I'm his not, life. No, I'm not saying that. No, yeah, I'm not saying he, that. Do you think he no. has been no. on some shit? Because I know, I know for a fact that when Kanye was in his youthful age, he used to go to the South Side of Chicago regardless if that's where he ride it or not. And that's when he used to roll up on, on Common and them and be the little annoying dude. I know my history. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying though, what I'm saying But he still was a bitch though. Here's what he I wasn't here's, tough. Here's what I'm here's and he, and he, was, he was on the block with those dudes because he can only be on the block with those dudes because he buy a subject for my private to him up. This is true. But here's what I'm saying though. But, but, but here's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's a whole ass but, here's, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. It's just like it's just, it's just, but it's just like it's just like a little way thing. Check it out. Check it out, right? It's just like a little but check it out, right? But check out what I'm saying though. I hear what you're saying, but I'm not saying that. It's just like the little Wayne thing. We might think of little Wayne screaming Sue Whoop to with that. Right? And that, all that's some bitch shit. But, but no, but let me connect that's it. But let me shit, connect sir. it. But let, but let me connect it. All right. You're screaming, Sue Wu, Sue Wu, Sue Wu this. So a 14 year old kid wanting to be like Lil Wayne and idolize you, running around Sue Wu, run up on an old school nigga like me and don't know that I grew up on a blue flag and I'll punch you in your fucking mouth, you call me a crap. So what, though? You're the point the, you're the, 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 point, the, the No, no. We punch babies no, in the face, nigga. No, yes. DCF <laughs> is right next door. <laughs> okay, so the so. point. The point, that, baby. The, the point that I'm trying, the point that I'm trying to make. Baby, yeah, baby duffer. <laughs> baby baby duffer. I'll punch a young nigga in the face. I'm gonna fuck. Me too, bro. So, so, yeah. so, 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 Gay the niggas that represent the flag. This is all they have to with you. You got to finish my point, though. Wait, let me finish my point. I don't think Wayne was anything like that when he was a kid. So let me finish my point. I don't, I don't. Little Wayne runs around screaming that and influences individuals Boy, that, 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 that have to deal, that have to deal with the repercussions of that. Meanwhile, Hold Little on. Wayne has armed security to protect him for the repercussions of that. It's funny because I was That's like, my hey, point. But, 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 yeah. but that's my wasn't, fucking point. Wasn't Little Wayne and all the cash money and they raising blue flags and they first Yeah, money. but that's not what we're talking about, though. I understand what you're saying. My point is, is that but this 14 year old kid. We'll run around right, screaming right, Sue right, Wu right. because Lil Wayne, because Lil Wayne did that. Well, but Lil Wayne has armed security guards to protect him from that. That's the, my I, point. I was watching the video. That's, I, 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 I'm bringing it back to the I, I, I wasn't, a, my I wasn't a black, a black TV, I wasn't a black TV interview, and they was talking about that, how, you know what I mean, like some, I think I think it was I know it was Trey D. I think it was something Trey D. Trey D's official crypto. though. He's official crypto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trey's, Trey's official period. You know, I love Trey D. I love his music. Yeah, yeah. Trey D's a dude. And he was like, yo, how he's a, he's a, he was like he's an insane, right? Uh no, nah, I think he's a roller nah, no, nah, I, I think he's a no, I think he's an insane. Trey D's an insane, I think. Uh, I don't know. Insane's don't fuck around. Yeah. They're, 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 the 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 twenties is, is a is a Snoop Dogg set of insanes. That's a whole nother right. dudes. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he but he was saying like they, they was asking questions about like why do you think that these uh you know these artists have to get that they blow up and get money and all of a sudden they want to be in, in the gangster the gangster life, you know what I'm saying? They wanna be gangsters and like they got uh Chris Brown, you got motherfucking soldier boy, you know, you got all these guys from my hood. You, nigga, you're not even from California. He's about like, he, he's from same hood as me. Nigga, like, you're not from California. So he's like, yo, why why do you think these dudes do this shit after they get money? You don't have to be and, from California to be official. To be I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. They, but they yeah. but they're not from California, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't move to California they're last year. They're not from that hood. Yeah, they call it the, my set, my set. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't do that, because you know what? Nah. Yeah, niggas will get power. Like, I, so, I, I dare a nigga do that. Yeah, so I dare I, I, actually I, I, I did that. So, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I did that a few times with some motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like throwing flags and flaming and everything like that. And shit, I'm like, what? where you from? Like, who are you? Mm -hmm. Like, what's your stones? Like, what's this? Like, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. I, I break it down knowledge and everything. So, so, you know, so, no, 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 so, so you get so you you get the point you get the point is that so so you get the point so your your question your, his question was how can I sing on Little Wayne is that I was bringing it back to the Kanye thing is that is that I don't hate on what Kanye is saying I'm just saying that like I feel like certain people when they have a voice and they say certain things they put other people in a position that don't have this but, but is this the problem it doesn't matter because that's you as long as it's you. And you're voicing your honest opinion you're right, you're about right. your you're views right. and your life. Right. That's just you. So what about people that intentionally influence the youth? That's when you go back to the thing we talk about future. Future saying he used drugs. 
in his music, but then he comes out and says, I don't really use drugs. Oh, like that. Fraud. No, exactly. That's not. different. That's how futures are fraud. That's different. That's different. I didn't fuck with nobody saying said you said futures are fraud. fraud. Yeah. No, he's a fraud. Yeah. He's a guy. He's, he's a certified fraud. In the interview, they're the same side. He's a fraud. He is. I'm not even. I can't even. He's a certified fraud. No, no. Future, future said it himself. I promote drugs and his drug life in my music, but I don't even really. This nigga said Molly Percocets. You take Molly Percocets together, nigga, you gonna die. No, it's not. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. That's called it's called a speedball. You can't take Molly. Yes, you can. Molly and Perkins says like. Nah, take you it. take Molly and Perkins says the same next episode. Every, Listen, every individual's <laughs> molecular structure no. is not made for. So it's called. It's, 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 it's called. It's, it's, it's called a speed. It's it's called, it's, it's called a speedball. If you That's, haven't noticed. I thought that was coke and other shit together. Uh, upper and downer. I thought it was specifically a speedball. No, upper and downer together is a speedball. But a Molly and a Percocet? It's up and down. It's like taking like taking everyone to go at the same time. I can't even take an aspirin and a motherfucking juice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get a juice. Nah, Get juice, some green juice. tea and honey. I'm straight. He can't, he can't even take a piss in the poop. Yeah, the juice. Juice. Damn, juice. Nah. I could, but I wouldn't be sitting <laughs> down. You ever know take a piss in the poop standing up? Damn, That's a real nigga. Yo, get the fuck out of here. What is this? Hold up. Go to the video. We got, got a producer, we got a video. Look, look, look. Oh, what do you mean? When you go like this, look. Uh, I never heard it, so. That's what you call, that's, you call it a girl boy. Yeah, you that's what you call it a girl boy. Uh, oh, if I, oh, if I was sitting down, that, that's, that's how I'm sitting in a pan section. Yeah, a pan section. Oh, I'm going to tell you. You ain't a real dude. You got 10 minutes, all right? You ain't real until you take a poop standing up. Okay, cool. What's your name? What's your name? Wait, 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 hold up. You take... Your pants, your whole pants off when you do this? Nigga, naked. Nigga, take a shit. Well, you know what's gonna be disappointing? You know I've been, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna disrespect you. I'm not gonna disrespect your mother. But you know I've been, I'm not disrespect your mama. Hold up. I'm not disrespect your mama, but, you, mama, but, but you know I know you long enough I've been in your mama's house, right? Right. I stood up on your mama's toilet, that's all I'm saying. You do you stood on my mom's toilet? Nah, hey. Yo, hell nah, you stood up. Nah man, I changed I changed everything about our relationship. My nigga, that's nasty. You stood up on my mom's toilet, man? That's fucked up. Why you think she gonna let me in the house? By the way, she was on. I'm calling Brett right now. <laughs> he called him on. He be like, yo, last time I was in the house. Was this over, that was something he was doing He said that talking about like, World War II, Tommy Hahn, watch this. Boom! No, no, I respect your mama. I, I respect your mama. Listen, I'll I, I kill, I kill a nigga to respect your mama. I just don't respect the toilet. I'm gonna right, say no more toilet. I'm just fucking with you. Nah, I'm just fucking with you, love. Nah, he took that back. He's being real. A poop is a true is such a free style. Yo, all I'm saying is that you cannot be a man and pee sitting down unless you got another no. two going on at the same time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Something else got to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see yeah, where you yeah, going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's all right. Go that. It's right. all right. right. It's all right if it's going on. It's going both, on at the same time. Both of my legs yeah. better be broken. and I better be in cast for me to do. That. But I guess the only time would be exception is if you get if you get like the if you get the, the Prince Albert, then it's okay. Don't get it. A, a, prince, a Prince Albert is when you get you get your your, your, your penis pierced at the top and then you have to sit down for a little while and pee up for a little bit. You wipe it, son. You wipe it. Oh, oh, sure you know, well, I thought about getting it, but then I just. You white it. You white it. That's the white boy. The white boy. The white boy ain't the one that puts out. Who gets this shit pissed, dog? Like, that's I mean, why, though? Why? why? Well, because when you're half Irish, you're going to get all the bells and whistles. You white it. Well, that translates. That translates. That translates to having small ones. I got to get all the accessories that I need. There we go. See, black people like steps. You don't know about black people. He said, he said, so you're Irish, you gotta get all of the. You know what I know about black people? You know what I know about black people? He said, when you're Irish, you know what I know about black people? He said, when you're Irish, you gotta get all of Black people hate whistles, stereotypes, bro. but when the Big Bang thing comes up, they all fucking, oh, yeah, that's true. They don't give what? a fuck about that stereotype. What? Oh, no, 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 we, 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 you know, they're not. Are we all black? Listen, we both, no, we're not all black. I'm not black today. I'm changing my color. You're not black today? So bright, too big. What was that? What was that? Full metal jacket? <laughs> With the Asian girl? She was no black. She was no black. Man. She was no black. No, no, she was no so black man. Brother. She goes so no. She, she goes so. <laughs> no, she, no, no. You ever see Fumbo in a jacket? Yeah, I know. She goes, she goes so brother. Too big. Yeah. Yeah. That's where, that's where that's the that's 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 Lisa comes from. Lisa Horny let me long time. They still lose camera. Lisa Horny let me long time. No, 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 Nah, but all, all joking aside, though, like, if you're sitting on a pee, there better be something else going on, because otherwise, that's not What you mean? I, even, even gay guys don't sit down and pee. I don't know they do this. How do you know, bro? I don't know they do this like that. I don't know. I don't know. 
he said that. He said matter of factly. Oh, yeah, guys. Go he said that. Wait a minute. She said you never been in the bathroom? Don't try to switch it up. Yeah, this is hey, this is hey, 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 that's what it was doing. Put him off moments and try to get me out of this. No, no, no. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had it without Bell. You had it without Bell. That was the Bell off. That's the Bell off. He's coming for me. He's up your knee. All jokes in the side, though. Nobody's ever done the hover, though. You've never been in the shady place after the hover. Take a shit. They do a hover. You can't sit down. I hover. I know. I know why you said that. Because you might hover. You might have to sit there and stand in the air. Position. What happened to me? Talking about I don't want to. Don't see the picture. Take a picture. There's only there's only been like three. Taking road trips. I have to go in the bushes. Yeah. Don't you want to hear about that? Don't you want to hear about you thinking you're bad for me? Let me catch poison ivy. Let me catch poison ivy in accident. I have. Nah. Gotta take my ass. Last time I shit, it wasn't gonna take my ass. I was in Virginia. Yeah, but Lyme disease. Listen, if I say this, it's gonna sound like a joke, but I was calling from the 35th. Black Panther reunion. And I was on the game. It was a game take. Game take. Like, oh, this nigga. This nigga. This nigga. This nigga. This nigga. It was in Washington, D.C. And it took it like this. Oh, that was that 2007? Yo, can I tell you what we're talking about? You want to tell him a story? No, no, no. That nigga has that. You want to tell him a story? The nigga has that. You want to tell him a story? He didn't have an X-Zine on his ass. You want to tell him a story? You want to tell him a story? You want to tell him a story? Hey, how about that? That was a good one. That nigga took one tick. I was in the bushes, bro. I was in the bushes, bro. I was in the bushes, bro. I mean, 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 I uh, no, this is closer to 2000, maybe it was, I don't know, it was 2000 and, and 2000, 2000, Gay? Uh, <laughs> so I was leaving the Black Panther reunion, with, with, uh, I, was leaving the, I was leaving the Black Panther reunion in D.C. <laughs> I, took the I took the train back take, take to, sex, to, to, to Northern, take, Northern take Virginia. Sex. Can I get this? <laughs> I got like four minutes. I was taking the train back. Take, take I was taking sex. North. I was taking the train take, take back to Northern Virginia oh, to go see my baby's I mother. Sex. And uh, you ever get and I got off. Tick, girl. Had to take a shit. You ever had groceries by a tick? So I, you I took a shit in the city. No, no, no. no. I was going from DC to Northern Virginia. I know and I came back. I had to take. Right. Yep, Manassas. I went to Centerville. I had to take a shit. Got off the train for the Black Panther joint. Had to take a shit. And I went and what? I think I, 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 I had every bottle of bottle, bottle syndrome, IBS. I always got to take a shit when I was talking to people. They got so, IBS, I, bro. so I had to take a shit real quick in the uh, woods. I had fucking napkins and shit on me because I always You got to eat a lot of cranberries to get rid so, of IBS. So, so, so I got back. Raw, raw cranberries. So, so I got back to my baby. I got back to my baby's mother's house <laughs> in, in VA and she came outside. And she, I was over the big mother of the year, too, remember? No, she didn't know you were. That's how so, it was, bro. So, so, was, so it's what? over there. It's like complex. It's mad houses and shit. They got like a parking lot to go around the yeah. circle. You know what? I was there, nigga. You know what? I stood on your toilet and shit, too. So, <laughs> so I got there. I got there, and she goes, she goes, oh, yeah, she, like she goes, she goes, oh, yeah, she, she goes, she goes, she goes, my stomach's hurting, my stomach's hurting. She goes, my stomach's hurting. I go, what's up? Yeah. She took, she took a pregnancy test. She thought she was pregnant. She's like, oh my god, by who I'm, though? I'm pregnant. I don't know, some color guy. She was like, I'm pregnant. Some color. She was like, I'm pregnant, right? I was like, oh, you're pregnant. I went to the bathroom. I'm like, I gotta take on my ass. You got what? I had a tick on my ass. You had a you? Yes. Cause I shit in the woods prior to walking back because I couldn't make oh. it all the way back. I had a tick on my ass. How long was the tick on your ass? Oh uh, yeah, how long? Forty five minutes. <laughs> Forty five, fifty minutes. You didn't feel the tick on your ass? Your fucking shit? No, nigga, you don't feel the tick on your motherfucking ass. No, bro. I mean, shit. How big was it? You got it all. Don't say that, bro. Don't say that. Bro. <laughs> that, that was mad suspect. <laughs> that was mad suspect. When that nigga is gay, let him be gay by himself. Yeah, yeah, let me crash and burn. I'm just pulling you into my gayness right I'm now. No, no, don't pull me in. No, okay, we ask a question. What'd you say again? No. Would you want to know about the tick though? My nigga, you had a tick. Yo, yeah, yeah. You had a tick. Tick time. A tick was on my cock. Yeah, yo, hold up though. You're the only person I ever told. Hold up. Tick on my cock. Hold up. You're the only person I ever told the story.
sorry to know how big it was. Oh shit. You had a tick on your ass one day, yeah. Right. And you wanna know how big it was. I was just trying to make a moral of the story. Moral of the story? My nigga, that shit was on your shit for 45 minutes. You know them shit suck your blood and grow. You don't you didn't feel that shit, dog. You know what? That's, that's something it. biting me. A gay take sucked his Do you know how I do you yeah, know how grocery, I found yeah, out? Grocery from a gay take. Do you know how I found out it was on my ass? <laughs> no, groceries. Do you know how I found out it was on my you ass? Because when I went in the toilet, I was oh shitting God. like this. Here we go. And it was a mirror. Yeah. And I went like this and I saw the tick on my ass. That's yeah, how right? I saw it. Yeah, well, because of mirror, because it was rotating. Oh shit. Like okay, so so alright, so I got After that story. Two halves of I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight to the true part. The true part is that you actually stand on toilets and look at your ass in the mirror. That no, that's a lie. I don't believe it. That's a lie. Bro. Oh, he you said something was rotating. What was oh, rotating? Boy. Him. He rotated around and, and, and looked at his ass. Because most toilet seats rotate in Virginia. You didn't know that? They have like rotating. No. Yeah, they do. How many times have you been to Virginia? You know what? Guess what? Four times. Four times? Yeah. How many toilets have you used? It's 8 o'clock. About four. That's not it. It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Yo, she burned the street, yo. Me? It caught him out. Oh! Yeah, man, wow. like Yo, can I ask you a question? Why haven't you been here? Has there been a string of Black Jedi movies, or is it just because Black Panther? Like, what is it? Black, black people are winning. Black, black people are winning in comic books. So we don't know about it. Well, how was Infinity War? It's good. No, don't give away man, anything. Man. Yeah, I can't. On a scale of one to ten, though. Hold on, man. A scale of one to ten is like an eight. Where would you put it in comparison to Black Panther? Niggas ain't gonna know, nah. Mm. That was the shutdown of yeah, that black man. Like, forget about black man. Don't answer, was, a, don't answer as a black man. That was answer a setup. Now you say that? As a, as think a, about as it, though. Think about it. It was. Think about it. It's a setup. No, 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 not a Jay I don't think they should have put it that close. That, but they, they did it on purpose. Yeah, they, 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 they did it. They fed off of the. Black man was a few weeks ago. They did it on purpose. They 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 knew. Fuck these niggas. They knew the fucking. They knew the impact. One nigga in the movie again. They knew the impact that black uh, that uh, black Panther would have on the culture. Maybe they didn't though. Let's say this. They got Deadpool coming out in two more weeks. Well, let's think about this though. Let's think about this. I'm telling you. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Fuck that nigga. Check it out though. Yo, they haven't covered up a nigga movie since the last Dragon. Check it out. Check it out though. They probably they probably did like this. They probably had all those movies lined up, done already. You know what I mean? Just put up that Black Panther. When Black Panther came out and it had that. Um, reaction they had the biggest yeah. the biggest movie that ever they had to reshoot they had to reshoot so, some shit because then they wanted to put out faster yeah. Yeah. you know people don't realize why everybody wanna, was debating I don't want to yeah. spoil too much fuck that I'll say this but listen yeah, but hey, hey, we, and and who was the black yeah, guy yeah, 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 if you're going to give us a spoiler I'm walking out let's just home. put it this way Black Panther plays an integral part in that yeah that's what that's what I believe before the Black Panther movie came out it probably wasn't like that. Because that vibration yeah, exactly. came out, they wrote that script. Exactly. Because they said that vibration was exactly. important in that film. Get it out there now. I mean, in the original story, it wasn't. In the original story, it wasn't. Because Black Panther really had no role in the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. was it? Because Black Panther really had no role in the original Infinity. Because people don't realize the original Infinity War. There's so many different like storylines. But the thing about comic books is there's so many different realities. And everybody gets set on one thing. But but my whole my whole thing is this. It's like... You might not even know. You might not even get set on one thing. You just might not even have been exposed to other alternate reality. Can I say one thing though? When, when, I, when I went to go see the Marvel Live, I was talking about earlier, which, yeah. which is like they have live actors come out and, and, and do the, the, the fireworks. I went to it, they had it's the all come down from the joint. Nah, it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. They didn't, they didn't have, they didn't have Hawkeye. They didn't have Hawkeye, but they made sure. But I, but I, they had Black Panther in there, but I think that they put Black Panther in there because, because of the success of the movie. Of and, and, and I think that, I don't know, man. I, I just think that people have to realize that that Marvel Comics has always been more pro-black than like DC. We talked about this many times before yeah. with Stan Lee being a Jew and changing his name from Lieberman to Lee and, and Stan Lee uh, wanting to put more prominent characters. Because DC is like the Republican and, 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 and Marvel's like the Democratic of, of like the, the, the whole... The pantheon. Yeah, the pantheon of things. But the Infinity War is dope. For people who don't know who Thanos is, you're not grown up on comics. Thanos, Thanos is a, is a is a wow. is a demigod who who was obsessed with death. That yeah. death was actually a, a a figure. She was a character. She was an entity. And Thanos was so obsessed with the with, with and I'm not talking the movie. I've never seen the movie. Talking the comics. Talking comics. The Thanos comics. was so obsessed. Thanos was so obsessed with death that 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 he he grabbed all the Infinity Gauntlets. So that he could create reality, and he created, and not going to show this in movies. He created whole planets with furnaces and lines of people to walk in just to die, 
to, to praise death. With that, we have to go because we got the brother coming in right now. We got to wrap up. Uh, we're going to let you go chop shop. If you're, if you're a private, go to uh, 889. Yes. Juice. Can I say next week? We have a open radio schedule. Station, we, don't, we don't know exactly who we, we have. We have an open oh thing God. where we're still working out the guests. But can I say the guest after next week? I'm very, very honored. Uh, uh, who's Jesus, become, who's recently become, we have Jesus, who's recently become. Uh, the week after next, we have Jesus. Uh, Jesus. 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 Who, who, who recently <laughs> become, recently <laughs> become somebody <laughs> that I've, I've been able to personally, <laughs> I've been able to, no, no, personally build with. Nigga, shut your ass up and close the yeah, show out. Okay. Right. Right. We ain't saying nothing. We got the motherfucking Wu Syndicate yeah. calling in. We'll send it. And then after that, Ren Thomas, VH1. Y'all be sorry about it. Chop, chop, boys.